This effect tends to work best with photos that have vibrant colors in them like sky blue and grass green. This photo that we're going to be using in this tutorial is called Swirly Grass and Sky and it's taken from Flickr. So let's get started. Go to Colors, Brightness, Contrast, and turn up the contrast to around 20. Click OK, then go to Colors, Hue, Saturation. Set the hue to about negative 10 and the saturation to about 20. Go to Colors again and select Curves. Now in the Curves dialog, select the red channel and make your curve look like this. Then select the green channel and make it look like this. And for the blue channel, all you gotta do is drag this end up and this then this end down and click OK. Go to colors again and hue saturation and turn the hue to about negative 9 and the saturation way down to about negative 30 or 40 depending on your photo. Click OK. Now the main effect is done. We just have to add two more things to make it look authentic. So let's add a vignette, create a new layer, select the ellipse select tool and draw a selection over your canvas that covers the whole thing then go to select feather it's right here 150 pixels depending on the size of your canvas click OK now select invert make sure your foreground color is set to black select the bucket fill tool and just fill select none and set your layers opacity level to 50 and the last bit create a new layer and set your foreground to foreground color to a nice vibrant magenta and just fill the layer with that color and turn down the opacity to about oh I don't know um, 8% or 10 something like that and you're done